Everybody's looking good here. We just want to welcome you all. This is the Global Watch International Call. It's Thursday, July 1st, 6 a.m. Jerusalem time. This is the Myanmar Watch we are very excited about with Luke Vanderweilen. Did I pronounce your name right? And your team. Very good. Thank you, Fred. That's wonderful. Well, greetings from uh, Melbourne, Australia. And uh, it's a joy once again just to come together and to focus on, on Myanmar. And so I'll just open in prayer and then I'm going to hand over to uh, Deborah and Mark Tin to lead us in some worship. So Heavenly Father, we, we're just humbled by what you are doing in this hour across the nations of the earth, Father. Lord, so many wonderful things happening. But Lord, our, our hearts in this hour, Lord, are, are focused upon the nation of Myanmar, the people of Myanmar, the children of Myanmar. And Father, we, we ask again that we would just catch your, your heart, Father, for this nation and this time together. And Lord, lead us, lead us as we pray. Lord, uh, we ask for, for revelation. We ask for insight, Lord, as to, as to how to pray. And Lord, we, we just still our hearts before you in these moments, God, as we, we seek your face together on behalf of this nation. It's great to have uh, Deborah Tin and her son Mark from Sydney, Australia. So this is a, a family affair. Bless you guys as you lead us this, this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to... Um lead you all in worship and from sydney now it's one o'clock so i will say good afternoon from sydney to everyone um and yes as we proceed in praise and worship um i want to encourage us all that let us all sing aloud because when we do declare and when we proclaim out aloud um we get encouraged ourselves. We hear ourselves saying it and we too are encouraged. And we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So as we sing these songs, I would love you all to sing this out loud um, with us, but also know at the same time as we are knowing what purpose we have united for to intercede for Burma, we know that as we sing aloud, praise and worship to our God is being released across the earth. And so with that, knowing that as we praise our Lord, his hand will be definitely um, on mm. Burma as we intercede with that purpose and as we have gathered in his name. Mm. So we're going to start by singing Mighty to Save because our God is truly mighty and he mm. is definitely mighty to save, mighty to um, go before us, mighty mm. to um, fight for us mighty to prepare the way for us and so again mighty to prepare the way for um ahead of what burma is going through that he is um mighty to save that he will make a way so would you sing this with us that our god is mighty to save thank you so much guys that was that was just beautiful and uh, what a what a great reminder, you know, he is is mighty to save no matter what obstacles we're facing. And uh, thank you for reminding us of a of a great truth. And I'm going to hand over right now to Pastor Dominic Din from Sydney, and uh, he's just going to share with us um, a little bit of of what's happening in Myanmar, what's happening on the ground right now, just to lay a, a platform for prayer this afternoon. Thank you, Pastor Dominic. Welcome. And I will put up a bit of a PowerPoint. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity uh, that uh, I'm able to join with you today. Uh, I was asked to express some of the prayer points and uh, only yesterday I was able to give it and uh, my apology for the delay. But all these facts uh, I pick up from prayer meetings that I've been involved 
during these past few weeks. So not directly, some of them are uh, not necessarily direct information, but I believe that's what is really happening in Burma. So thank you for that. So uh, are you going to put those? Well, yes, yes. <clears throat> oh. Dominic, we've given a brief summary yeah. of what's happening because there oh, are okay. people on the call who, who don't understand that. Hmm. So just my version of brief summary, because I'm not familiar with these ones on the PowerPoint. So this is oh. just a overview. Okay. These, the military staged a coup on the 1st of February. Aung San Suu Kyi and members of the newly elected government were imprisoned and are now being tried in the courts. Until recently, the people have protested peacefully in the civil disobedience movement. But more than 840 people have died in the cities and in the rural areas, and many have been arrested and tortured. The ethnic armies have mobilized and are training some of the protesters to defend themselves and resist the military and police. So we've pro progressed to more of a civil war situation. And there are more than 100,000 internally displaced people massed on the borders of Thailand, India, China. They're in great need of food protection and health care. So you can just move on from there. Okay. Thank, thanks, Dominic. Bless you. Yes. So should I proceed now? Should I say now? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. So um, Myanmar is now in life and death situation. It's a really in dire situation. It's not only politically, but also due to COVID. Uh, some areas I've heard that uh, people have to, a lot of areas actually, people have to raise themselves. They have to find out resources themselves. They have to actually come up with their own way of protecting themselves for, from being affected by COVID situation. And uh, personally, I heard from a lot of pastors yesterday, I was involved in a prayer meeting, just one pastor, one village in a Chin state. Um, as I was talking yesterday, he said that three people died from his church, 25 is affected. That's just one little small village church that they don't know how to cope. They were in need of uh, oxygen concentrator, they call it, I think, and the generator, something like that. So we were able to pray and then arrange some things. And number two, there's a great need for basic resources. Yes, so food, water, medical supplies. And then I heard that um, <clears throat> some people who are in the jungle, they, they are in, in a real need of water purifier, you know, like a tablets and things like that, that actually purify the water because they can drink the water. That's what I heard. <clears throat> and uh, I also was told by some people, I heard that some divisions going on among some of the ethnic groups as well. So for example, one of the friends that I know happened to talk and then I said, what do you want me to pray for? He said, I don't know what to say because sometimes in some situations, it's uh, not just against the army, but sometimes between each other, we're going through some difficulties. So I don't know how, uh, to what extent, I don't know exactly, but we need to pray for unity. Can I go for point number four? Yes, uh, I was told yesterday in the prayer meeting that the Karen and Kachin people have been in resistance for a long time. So they sort of are a bit more, uh, what do you call, equipped in terms of surviving. However, the Chin State and Kaya State people have not been in that situation before. So I was told that uh, for them is very, very hard. Very, very hard. They're going to very difficult time. Point number five. Um, a lot of people are running out of resources. Either you are in the city area or village areas. So even 
the authorities themselves, they don't have resources. So I heard that some pastors even are kidnapped and then to ask for ransom. <clears throat> and ministers and their families need support because many ministers have been run out of, you know, income and other things for about two years. So they are in a very difficult situation. Uh, in the near past, ministers in the village areas can still grow some, you know, plants and uh, they got some chicken and pig and things like that, but not anymore the case. City pastors even worse because they live in some very, you know, uh, apartments and things like that, they can grow anything. So that's another situation. And point number seven. Yes, uh, I was thinking about Myanmar, why this thing happened. But on top of that, my thinking is why this thing happened at this very time, unique time, you know, the whole world is going through a uh, very difficult situation. And this thing happened to Myanmar. God knows God is in control. I believe in that. But uh, I think we really need to pray. And I really appreciate all of you joining your heart and remembering Myanmar. So thank you for that. That's all my part. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic. So there's there's much to pray for, but it's uh, it's good to to focus on those those seven points. Um, so divisions, um, COVID is a, is a big thing, uh, particularly in Chin State at the moment. It's uh, it's it's is running rife. Uh, obviously, fresh water resources, medical supplies, food, uh, the whole the whole unity thing. So I wonder if uh, Pastor Toke, if you could lead us off in some prayer this afternoon. Um, and then as you feel, you want to just jump in and pray, encourage you to uh, to do that. Thank you, Pastor Toke. Yes, yes. Father, we thank you for giving this opportunity to put our heart together on behalf of the country of Myanmar and the people of Myanmar who are struggling with the, with the atrocities, how to respond to the, this injustice and in the midst of the attack of the COVID virus. Father, as we come to you, we realize that you are willing to hear from us. You are willing to help us. You want to help us in the way you want, according to your purpose. So as we ask, on behalf of the, the people and the country, we acknowledge your will, which is better than our will. We submit our thoughts and our mind and our desires under the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we admit whatever you may answer as good things. So Father, please, as uh, everyone, as people, human being, our potential, in this kind of situation is we want to blame someone or some situation or something. So Father, please forgive us and clear, uh, cleanse our hearts as you, you have already, we have been already cleansed with the blood of Jesus so that we may be uh, able to acceptable in your sight, especially our prayers. So Father, please provide the country with all that they need. So many people are in need of medical care, proper care, and of course, especially your power. So Father, even those who are not uh, able to access the medical supplies, to access the med medical treatment, you are there. So Father, please show your love, show your mercy, and show your power in the midst of their trouble, Lord. And comfort those, especially who know you. Please give them the peace that Jesus wants us to have. Give them realization of your presence with them in your spirit, so that even in the midst of the time, they may be free from the desire to blame anything, but of course, to realize your love, your arms that is around them, to feel the comfort that is in you. And Father, we pray that uh, the evil, the devil, and his power 
seems to be prevalent, but your hand is upon them. So Father, please protect your children, those who you, you have uh, purchased with the blood of Jesus from all these evil power. Give them the strength and the faith, knowing that you are testing, especially their faith. You want to see how they might go through in this situation, how they might respond to these situations. So Father, please help them to be able to successfully do the test, go through the test out of their trust and their faith and their obedience to you. Help each one of them not to uh, split one another, but out of their obedience and um, trust in you. Help them to seek your will rather than to put their desires, to put their forward their agenda. So that Father, help them to see so that they may be able to, to realize, to see the fulfillment of your promises in them. For those especially who can humble themselves, will be blessed, will see the great things, we know your ways, and we'll be even able to glorify you in the, the, the way they respond to the situations. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Tark. Thank you, Father. We thank you for your deep love for me and my father this afternoon. And Lord, we, we feel your heart for this beautiful nation, these amazing people, Father, that Jesus paid an incredible price for as he hung on that tree all those years ago. And we thank you that the victory that he won on that cross was for Myanmar just as much as it was for every other person on this planet. Father, we ask you that in this season, God, you would, you would stretch out your hand towards this nation. Lord, to heal and to restore the brokenness of this nation, Father. Lord, I, I pray for the, for the tribal groups the division and the mistrust between the tribal groups. Father, I, I pray you would do a sovereign healing work there, Father. And Lord, we recognize that it's it's your church, Lord, that that will enforce the kingdom. It's it's your church, Lord, that will bring the kingdom into this nation. And Lord, I pray for, for pastors and, and leaders within me and my Father. I, I pray that even on this call, Lord, that you've brought us together from across the world to, to stand unified for me and my. And Lord, where two or three agree, it shall be. And, and Lord, I pray that you would raise up Lord, an army within Myanmar, Father, an army of intercessors, an army of worshippers who will stand together in this hour. And Lord, that you would knit their hearts together, Father, in a sovereign way, Father, for the healing of this nation, God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, that you are mighty to save, Father, that you conquered the grave for Myanmar this afternoon. Thank you. Someone else just step in if you feel to pray. Bless you. Mm. Yeah. Father, I want to pray for Psalm 133 unity for the people in Myanmar, that Father, the groups who are perhaps holding back, um, perhaps not wanting to cooperate with others because of deep or deep offences that have happened long ago. Father, what a pray that there will be forgiveness and an ability to work together without there being suspicion 
or ill will or malice or any of those things. We want to pray, Father, that you would you would massage uh, uh, hurting hearts, Lord, with with the oil of the Holy Spirit, and 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 Lord, cause forgiveness to flow. Lord, it's a time when the churches need to stand together uh, and and not be worried about their differences, but just stand for you in this time. We pray for unity in the church. And Father God, we pray for those who are imprisoned those who may not have any hope, those who just may spend you know, countless hours doing nothing because there's nothing to do. Father, we pray in Jesus' name that you would be with them, you would speak to them in the silence, that, Lord, it, although their, their cell may be silent, you are not. And, Father, we pray that you would break the silence uh, in their lives and in their hearts and they would hear the word of God they would hear the voice of the Lord. And Father, we ask in Jesus' name that people will be getting saved in their cells who haven't, who haven't known you before. People who do know you, Lord, will be, will be encouraged by your presence. Father, in Jesus' name, we know that you are working in the background. We know, Lord, that you are up to many things. We want to pray, Lord, that you would, you would continue to do, do that. And we praise you for all that you are doing that is unseen in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Lord mm. Jesus, long ago in the Philippines, the army of the Philippines turned and joined with the people who were praying for Jesus to help them. So, Lord, this was a miracle, Lord, and you are the God of miracles. So I pray that in Myanmar that the army will join with the Christian people, Lord, to raise up righteous government, to raise up rule, and order that is on the shoulders of Jesus. And I pray this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Someone else just step in. Thank you, Jesus. Um, as I'm listening to you and, and praying, I feel like the one word that I, resonates in my spirit is that to pray for the spirit of Elijah to come forth that will restore all things. And um, <clears throat> that the voice of the prophet is the one that will help bring the dry bones together and cause the muscles and the sinews to strengthen so that the body can stand up. So, Father, I pray for the voice of a deliverer to rise up in the, the church in Myanmar, that this is an hour for the church to show its light, to be a beacon of light in the midst of the darkness. I, I bind a spirit of fear that is upon them and loose a spirit of faith, uh, faith in God's word. Father, that you will show up like you did for Paul and Silas, or you, like you did for Peter, to deliver them out of the prison and uh, out of their prison houses, Father, that um, there would be even a turning of the hearts of the military and those in leadership. Father, I know that you have believers there of influence, and the, and the, but they're hidden in their prison houses. And so, Father, we call forth a loosing of the angelic army over Myanmar to do the signs and the wonders that will be the greater works you talk, tell us in those time in the last days, the greater works will we do than what we have read about in Acts. Father, we need to see them. We, we are in a desperate strait here. We need to see you move on behalf miraculously of your people, that it will stir up faith like nothing else. Father, we need that stirring up the fire of God to fall upon Myanmar, to fall upon those brands, those lightning beams in, in Myanmar. They're there. They're waiting to be lit, Father. They're waiting for that, that angel to loosen that prison bar that they're in. And we call it forth so that the light 
can once again shine in Myanmar. And we say that that light, when it's coming forth, it's being branded with the power of God and the healings and the miracles will follow in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah, forty-six over Myanmar. God is our strength, our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And of our Father, we want to thank you for the Holy Spirit that you have moved many Christians in Myanmar who have faithfully prayed for Israel, even though they have never been to the Holy Land. And we declare that in this Psalms that the God of Jacob, for whom, of Jacob, whom they have prayed for, that the God of Jacob is their fortress and their defense, and they shall not be moved. Our Father, we pray for the Jehoshaphat army, in Myanmar, whom we know that you are raising up. Let the sounds of heaven be heard. Let worship in the fear of God, which they know so well, arise that will be a pleasing offering to you, God. Let the songs of deliverance arise now that will break through the pow dark powers that surrounds Myanmar. Let the voice of the Lord break the strength of the wicked and bind all their leaders with chains. Let God arise in Myanmar and his enemies be scattered in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Lord, I want to declare Hebrews 4, 16. It says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace um, that we may find uh, receive mercy and find grace in the time of need. Lord, there's so much need in Miramar. Give your people there the boldness as they come before you, your face, to find the grace and the help they need at this very time. I heard this morning about people that have to dig uh, holes in the earth to hide from the bombers that come over. Lord, give them uh, incredible um, understanding when to go and hide. And, um, and Lord, we pray again for boldness for those that know you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. I think just just going back to where Sue was, you know, I think I think we just need to really come into alignment and and in agreement, you know, for for the body of Christ within within Myanmar. And uh, Father, we we ask you to strengthen our our brothers and sisters, Father, for the pastors, Lord, that are uh, even scratching for their next meal father i pray you would provide for them father and and allow them lord to to lead and to become those prophetic voices into the nation in this time father and to lord to see the dry bones of ezekiel 37 father we we ask you lord that this mighty army father would begin to be knitted together father bone upon bone joint to joint lord we thank you lord for the strengthening of your people within Myanmar, father and lord the anointing of your holy spirit father lord we need a miraculous intervention father 
We need your Holy Spirit, Father, to breathe upon, Lord, this land, Father. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We just we're just going to break into breakout rooms just for about ten minutes or so, and uh, so just remember the seven points that we started with, and and that that awesome declaration in worship. He is is mighty to save. He's the one that that conquers mountains, and uh, we we're speaking to a mountain this afternoon. Move in Jesus' name, and so, Ros, if you can. Um, send this into some breakout rooms. Thank you. Amen. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, it's always good to do the small groups, isn't it? And uh, my little group there, we were we were praying, I think Nina, particularly for the, the destiny of, of Myanmar, you know, and, and uh, the enemies come against the destiny of this nation. And so, uh, and I think it's, uh, uh, Sue, we, we really need to contend for the destiny of this nation, uh, that it becomes all that our Father has has purposed. I'm going to ask uh, Deborah and Mark just to just bring us back into a, into a place of worship with the Father just for one song, and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll, we'll wrap up. So thank you, Deborah and Mark, as you lead us. We're going to sing um, No Longer Slaves. And so No Longer Slaves to Fear. And I know we know that the Bible also says to be a voice for the voiceless. And so I'm sure we can all sing united together, sing on behalf of our brothers and sisters in Burma at this time. So declare with us that we are children of the Father, God Most High, and we are no longer slaves. And they too as we intercede, are no longer slaves, mm. and that they can go in confident and protected by our God. So will you join me in singing No Longer Slaves? Yeah, well, thank you, Deborah and Mark. And, and Father, that, that is our prayer over Myanmar this afternoon, Father, that these people would no longer be slaves to fear, Father, that they would be immersed, they would be baptized in the spirit of adoption, knowing that they are your children, Father, loved from the foundations of the earth, God. And we just we just declare that, Father. We declare wholeness, Father, over Myanmar. We we declare destiny over this nation, Father, that it might arise, Father, Lord, out of the ashes, Father, a testimony of your goodness, a testimony of your, your miracle working power, Father, to save and to heal and to restore, God. Lord, we look to you in this season. Amen. And uh, you'll have seen uh, Sue's comments there in, in the comments that the Global Day of Prayer uh, again next week, the 6th of July in the US, the 7th of July in Australia. Um, and encourage you to get behind that um, the IHOP room, and there'll be details, I think, Sue, on the on the Global Watch website, uh, website, and also the emails that have been distributed. I'm going to ask Pastor Dominic Din just to um, close in prayer, and then I'll hand back to uh, Sue or Fred just to to close off our session today. Thank you, Dominic, if you're still with us. Yes. Hi, yes, sure. <laughs> I just like to read uh, this uh, verse from Psalm 46, verse 9. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the sheaves with fire. He says, Be still and know that I'm God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Lord, today we pro proclaim that you will be exalted in the nation of Myanmar. you the only one who will make all the war cease so that no one can boast, no human being can claim that because of 
our ability, peace comes. Only you, the God of peace, will bring peace in the nation of Myanmar. Lord, bring healing to the wounded. Even our history has a lot of wounds, Lord, that has not been healed. Only you can bring answer to those situations, questions, confusions, disappointments, fear, and pain. We thank you, Lord, that we can call you Abba Father. You are not the God who is in heaven and pointing your finger only to us and directing us to do this, not to do that. But you, Lord, yourself came to this earth and went through what human being could possibly go through. So you understand. You can not only sympathize, you can empathize too. Not only that. With your mighty hand, you can save us. You can save Myanmar. So today, we join our hearts together and we speak healing and wholeness and peace upon the nation of Myanmar. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dominic. And uh, Sue, I'll hand back over to yourself or to Fred. Thank you for everyone joining us today. It's been a, a real joy. It's been an honor to have you. Thank you so much for the work you're doing. Um, Roz, when is the regular um, weekly Myanmar Watch? Do you want to say something about that, please? Yes, we meet, we meet regularly on a Thursday at um, 7.30 a.m. Jerusalem time, which is 2.30 Australian or East, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, but and uh, I'll give you the link. Oh, I put the link in Global Watch in the community um, signal group. Is that all right, Sue? Yes, and, and I would put in the uh, prayer points for tonight. There, yep. they were all just excellent, really good. Yeah. Okay. So um, thank you, thank you all for coming and. Um, Remember next Tuesday, it is, I put the times there on, into the chat. Uh, for those of you on our mailing list, I sent out that information, I believe it was yesterday. It's July 6th, Tuesday. It'll be 8 to 10 p.m. Central Time, 6 to 8 Pacific Time. It'll be just before the, the watch, uh, regular watch time at 8. Um, Myanmar time, it's 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. Myanmar on July, July 7th. So get those figures in your head or else look up time and date for any confusion. Um, but I, it's really wonderful to see the global body of Christ work together. So this is a sponsored along with um, IHOP and YWAM, Kona, and a couple of other ministries uh, getting behind this call to prayer. So Myanmar, know that there are people uh, that the watchmen are on the walls. They're hearing the sound of the trumpet over um, mm -hmm. Myanmar. And when the trumpet blows, we know our God will begin to fight for us. So I mean, I mean. remember God makes beauty out of ashes as we go forth from this and continue our prayers for Myanmar, believing there's an answer yet to come. Amen, everyone. Let's unmute and bless Myanmar tonight. Come on. God bless, bless you all. Thank you, so Emma, and each one on this meeting. Thank you, Emma. 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 Thank you,